Hi folks, this week I found next to the garbage a microwave and today I'm going to show you how to convert it into a furnace. Yes, so that you can melt aluminium, copper, bronze or other metals. I think that this project is very useful for us that we are makers. Um, molding aluminium is pretty cool. So follow me for a couple minutes I'll show you what's in my mind. Let me take first of all the microwave. This will become extremely hot. I'm talking about more than 1000 degrees Celsius. So it's very important to remove all the parts that can burn in inside of the microwave. I'm talking about the magnetron, the plastic fan and the transformer and the capacitor. These all components have to be put apart from future projects. And now the oven is perfectly naked. I can stri I strip away all the parts that can burn away. Now using a marker, I have to mark four holes no, four points on the side of the microwave. It's very important to mark them uh, equally, equally, equally distance from each other and use the drill with a drill bit big enough to, mark, to punch holes inside the metal. Do the same thing also on the right side of the microwave and finally this is the result. We've got eight holes that are equally spaced from each other. Now let me take something else. I'm talking about a component that is made of stainless steel I decided to use this this material because can handle hot quite well for this project can work okay. So I made four ho holes, these are a little bit bigger because inside of them I have to slide this. These are heating elements from um, a component, you can find the link here on Amazon where to buy them. They, are, they work uh, 450 watts each. each and they only use 110 volts each. So I can use the stainless steel part to sustain, to put the, the heating element inside. So this is how it works, okay? Now, I can then put everything again inside the microwave. So unfortunately I have two long heating elements and two shorter ones. This is the reason why I, I decided to use this stainless steel part. But yeah, if you buy a longer one, uh, about 40 centimeters long, it will work okay. So this is uh, how it looks like after five minutes of patient where I have to slide all the parts inside. And now that I'm sure that everything is working okay, I can remove the, the heating elements. Now I will take this. This is a ceramic fiber. This is very important for this project because we'll keep the heat, the extreme heat inside the oven. So I can use some scissors to cut away parts. And this is like an isolator, just like a blanket, blanket to keep warm the things. This usually is also used to isolate the house, uh, roof or, or walls, but this is used only for very hot pro process or work. So I cut along a strip and a shorter one. The shorter one will go inside the microwave exactly on the bottom where almost the resistance were the heating element was at the beginning. So let me push it very firmly in, play, in place. This is how it looks like. And now I can put the longer strip all around, all around the corners and around, around the walls. This is also a good idea to secure the parts using some uh, stainless steel wire to, to, to sew it almost on the sides. Now it's just a matter of pushing, so inserting the heating elements through the holes. So it's very easy, as you can see. You just have to be precise and be careful that the contacts of the heating elements doesn't touch the metal of the microwave, otherwise you get a short circuit. Now we only need a wall socket, a, a switch and some connectors. These connectors are a little bit different from usual ones because aren't sealed with uh, uh, rubber but are sealed with silicone so that can stand heat much easier and doesn't melt even if the microwave oven gets extremely hot. So this is the schematic, uh, this, the button goes here on the back where there's already a, a, a place for it. Okay, I'm very lucky. And this is the sequence of connection. I live in Italy where I have 210 and 20 volts, so I connect them in series, two at a time. But if you live in America and you have 120 volts, you can just connect everything in parallel. I also seal the front side of the microwave. Unfortunately, I cannot use anymore the front window, so I cannot see anymore, not 
anything inside the microwave, but this is very important to keep the warm inside. So I switch on the switch and in only 10 seconds the microwave gets extremely hot. I'm almost ready to cook a melt aluminium. You can see that the heating elements are working very well and I'm pretty sure that four are enough for my project. Uh, yeah, I will not put more inside also because unfortunately my house doesn't stand so much current. Now I, let me take a container. This is a stainless steel container. I will use this to melt aluminium, copper or bronze. I will make some tests and this is my first test. So put inside some aluminium. Finally, this is the test piece. Yes, I know the surface finish, the surface finish, I cannot say that, it is pretty ugly, I know, but this was just a test about how fluid the aluminium, the melted aluminium was. Now we will make other tests, so uh, about bronze or copper, but I'm quite sure you can handle it without problems. I can melt all this quantity of aluminium in about eight minutes, so it was very fast. I wasn't expected, I wasn't expect to be so fast. And now maybe you're wondering where can I buy where can you buy the resistance I used inside the microwave and where can you buy the ceramic fiber this is quite difficult to find in the shops uh, around the city so I put uh, both links on Amazon check them out and please now leave a thumbs up doesn't cost you anything and helps me a lot my oncoming project coming so please if you enjoy the project you already know what to do and at this point I live with my two previous projects so check them out both and I go back to melt something else. Ciao ciao!